So in this video, I'm going to try to answer the question about which budget bike should you get? The State Allroad or the Poseidon Redwood? Both of them are pretty amazing options that provide a lot of value at under $1,000. Find out what I think in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're into the non-competitive side of cycling, riding party pace and living the supple life, you have found your people, hit that subscribe button. And one last quick announcement. If you guys have been enjoying these videos and want to support the channel, we just came out with some fun merch. Uh, that's right, we have a cute little party pace enamel pin as well as a new patch. That's right, it's a gravel specific patch. So you can show off your bike nerdery in either pin or patch form. So I've released my individual review videos of both the State Allroad and the Poseidon Redwood. If you haven't seen those already, definitely check those out for a deeper dive into each bike. But today I thought I would compare them side by side, lots of people asking, and we're gonna look at things like price, uh, aesthetics, gearing, and most importantly, handling. So let's get into it. First off, there is price. And of the two bikes, the State Allroad is a little bit less expensive at $799. The Poseidon comes in at $899. So in the grand scheme of things, pretty close in price. But if you are pinching every single penny to get a bike, then clearly the State All Road is the winner. In the weight department, again, they're both pretty close, uh, built up and ready to ride. The State All Road on our scales weighed in at 28 pounds and the Poseidon weighed about a pound less at 27 pounds. So although the state is less expensive by hundred bucks, you do pay a bit of a weight penalty of about a pound. Another thing to consider is aesthetics. I know a lot of us are ashamed to admit that the bike has to look good, otherwise we won't ride it. For me, both bikes look pretty dang good. It really depends if you like that thin steel tubing look or the more hydroform modern aluminum look. For the money, both do a pretty good execution of each. I like the tasteful, generally non-garish paint job of the State All Road, but at the same time, I also really enjoy that matte finish on the Poseidon Redwood. So for me here, it's kind of a toss up. So let's jump into the meatier aspects of the bike. And speaking about meats, we're gonna talk about their capability to carry fat meats or not. The State All Road actually ships with a pretty significant tire in the Barzo, which comes in at about 2.1 inches with a fairly aggressive tread. And looking at the frame, it looks like you could squeeze in a little bit more tire, maybe a 2.2 or so definitely capable of the fat meats. That said, if fat meats is really your thing, then you should probably go Poseidon Redwood. That ships with a really meaty tire at 2.3 inches and has a stated clearance of 2.5 inches. So lots of clearance, not something you see very often in gravel bikes at this price point. This is where we see the first real division between the bikes. I think if you're gonna be more road, dirt road oriented, then the State All Road is probably the better bike. But if you do plan to take your bike on trails or really gnarly and rutted double track, then the Poseidon might be the better choice. Now let's talk about gearing. The State All Road has a 42 tooth chain ring and the rear cassette is 11 to 42. So you get one to one and that's it. That was one of my big complaints about the All Road is that I felt like it was over geared. It's screaming for adventure and its starting base weight is not insignificant. So I feel like in this department, the State All Road could have done better. That said, if you live in generally flat terrain or don't plan to put gear on the bike, then it'll probably do okay. For me, this is where the Poseidon Redwood was a clear winner. It ships with a 38 tooth chain ring and a very generous 11 to 48 tooth cassette in the rear. So you can get way below one to one. And so the gearing is awesome for loaded touring, or if you're just getting into cycling and need to find your legs, or if you live in mountainous and hilly terrain. Next, let's talk shifters. Again, this is where things get a little bit nuanced. The State All Road ships with a rebranded Sensa group set. And the Poseidon Redwood ships with the Microshift Advent X. Another pretty clear demarcation here. Uh, the Sensa does look a little bit sleeker, more angular. The form factor is reminiscent of Shimano, but it shifts like SRAM. One big plus is that it does have under the bar tape routing. So it's super clean, super modern looking. So if that's really important to you, then you should probably go state. But again, I think it just lacks in the low gear department. Looking at the Poseidon Redwood, it's got a Microshift Advent X uh, shifter. So it's a little bit bulbous. It does have external routing. The shift feel is very mechanical. 
Uh, one could say charming at best, but man, it gets the job done with those low, low gears. And for me, having the external routing isn't as big of an issue as not having low enough gears. The externally routed cable also makes it super simple uh, to change the shift cable. And generally it forces the cable in a larger bend. So it should at least theoretically maintain better shifting for longer. So it's really a toss up here between aesthetics and functionality, you know, you know yourself, you, you have to make that choice. All right, so finally, the most important thing, and that is handling. The State Allroad has a longish rear end and kind of a neutral high front end. And to me, that translates to a bike that rides more closely to a touring bike than not. So what that means is that it feels super stable and super planted, really mows through the rough stuff on flat terrain, is a awesome descending bike, but you do feel it in the climbs. It doesn't have that kind of jumpiness or life in the rear end, and that's not helped either by the weight or the slightly high gearing. The Poseidon Redwood, on the other hand, has a really quirky, interesting geometry for a gravel bike. I feel like it's actually closer to a mountain bike in lots of ways. It still has a longish rear end, but shorter relative to the state all road. So there's a little bit more life in the rear, but in the front, it feels slack like a mountain bike. So if you're going on a really steep, slow climb, there's a tendency for it to wander, but that said, when you point the bike downhill, it is super stable and is really swoopy in the steering. So this is why it makes it really hard to say one bike is categorically better than the other because they're both actually pretty different bikes. One leads more towards the touring road spectrum and the other, in my opinion, is a little bit more like a drop bar mountain bike. So what other bikes does the State All Road remind me of? Uh, I get some all city space horse vibes, even a touch of Rivendell ish, that longer, calmer, more planted handling. For the Poseidon Redwood, it's really reminiscent to me of the Salsa Cutthroat, in some ways, even better than the Salsa Cutthroat. You know, if you're curious why, uh, check out my review on the bike. It also has some all city gorilla monsoon vibes. So when I make these kind of comparisons, I'm not saying they're equal, but they have kind of similarities in handling to those bikes. So lastly, I do want to talk about the Nicasio Plus, which was the most supple budget bike from last year and how that fits in the spectrum. Nicasio, again, a completely different beast. It has gearing that's closer to the Poseidon Redwood. So lots of low gears, but the geometry is tucked in the rear and neutralish in the front. So that bike is more like a fat tire road bike, something more reminiscent of the Surly Midnight Special. So again, as you can see, all these bikes under a thousand dollars, but very different in handling. And it's almost impossible to say one is categorically better than the other. It's sort of like asking which is the better screwdriver, a Phillips or a flathead or a Allen key. And the answer is it depends on what you're trying to screw down, right? So if you want something jumpy and lively, then definitely go Nicasio Plus. If you want something more trail oriented, something that handles more like a mountain bike, then definitely go with the Redwood. And if you're looking for a chill, kind of fat tire, neutralish handling uh, gravel bike that's nice and planted in the descent, but does lean a little bit more towards pavement or smoother dirt roads, then the State All Road is the bike for you. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this comparison uh, and you found it helpful, entertaining, consider supporting the channel. Again, we've got a, a Patreon page so you can directly help in making these uh, videos around non-competitive cycling or check out one of our new pins and patches. And as always, until next time, guys, keep the supple side down.